In recognizing that there's a natural cadence to sewing, we thought, why don't we try to keep a tempo when we do it? That way we can break down individual components of sewing and also, as we get better, become faster and keep a higher tempo consistently. And that would be a sign of progress. So one thing that we came up with is a metronome challenge. The way that we keep track of tempo in our minds is you start out at the top when we would typically be handed a needle. On one, you head it down to where you're sewing. On two, you drive the needle. On three, you pull the needle out with your forcep. On four, you reload it and then bring it back up, which is a time point at which your assistant would be holding the suture to follow you. And it offers a natural pause. Now with the metronome ticking, just to remind you of the steps, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you're practicing this at home, you can either purchase a physical metronome like we did, or you can just download an app on your phone that tells you what tempo you're sewing at. So uh, I also wanna emphasize the importance of consistency. You're not necessarily trying to go faster at the cost of losing your form or precision. So make sure that when you're doing this exercise, you're being honest with yourself about making sure that you're loading the needle precisely. And when you're, when you're practicing this, instead of just going fast, try to go for consistency and do five perfect throws at a specific tempo. And that would be an actual indication of how well you're able to use a needle drum.